Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are doing arithmetic series. Now arithmetic series means the sum of a multiple of terms but in the special case that we're doing today it is where the sum is for an arithmetic number pattern. Now if you are familiar with sequences then you will see that the word style doesn't change as much the only thing that really changes is the correct formula. Now the English in sequence and series is very tricky. Therefore when you're reading you must be clear as to what are they asking you and you must be able to answer correctly. Let's take the following example. If I give you a number pattern 3, 1 and minus 1. And I say, calculate the sum of the series to 84 terms. When we were doing arithmetic, you would notice whenever we started, we filled in the T, N, N, A or D. And once we filled it in, we decided how much information we had and we continued and filled in all the information and then got the answer. Now series works exactly the same. The only difference is the formula is slightly different and instead of saying TN, we will say SN. Now the formula for a series for arithmetic is SN is equal to N over 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 close brackets D. Right, so we have the formula which is Sn is equal to n over 2, open brackets, 2a plus, open brackets, n minus 1, close brackets, d. What do we have? You're going to start by writing your Sn, n, a, and d. What have they given us? We don't have Sn because they are telling us to calculate the sum. That would have been Sn. The sum of would have been Sn. But we do have n which is 84. You have a which is equal to 3 and you can calculate d by doing the test. Term 2 minus term 1. So 1 minus 3 which equals to minus 2. Once you have all the information which is 3 out of 4, you simply go to the formula and substitute. Right, so we've got 84 over 2, open brackets, 2 into 3, plus, open brackets, 84 minus 1, close brackets, open brackets, minus 2, close brackets, and then a bigger bracket. When you're using your calculator, you must be careful that you press it into the calculator as exactly as you see it here. Wherever there's an open and close bracket, you need to put an open and close bracket. That will give you Sn is equal to minus 6720. Now what you must remember is that sometimes the questions are not asked like this. Let's take the same question but asked in a different way. The question in the exam paper would look exactly as I had written it now. It would maybe be question 4.1 and would say solve and they'd write this. That is it. Now what are they giving us? They are telling us it's a sigma notation which immediately means sum of. But in a sigma notation, we are not told whether it's arithmetic or geometric. 
Therefore, when you have a sigma notation, the first rule is to get the first three terms. So, we get the first three terms by substituting 2 and then substituting 3 and then substituting 4. So, we have 7 minus 2 into 2 which equals 2, 3. Then we have 7 minus 2 into 3 which is equal to 1 and we have the third term which is 7 minus 2 into 4 which is equal to minus 1. So we now have the first three terms. Once we have the first three terms we do the test and we decide if it's arithmetic or geometric. When we do the test here we'll see that we have minus 2 giving us an arithmetic number pattern. After you've decided it's arithmetic, you use the correct formula. And then you are back to start by deciding how much information I have, 3 out of 4. Once you have 3 out of 4, simply substitute into your formula. Thank you for watching.